Hey guys, Fred here. Well, I'm at my favorite park and I'm about to take my Air 2S on its maiden flight. I'm really excited about this. And what I wanted to do here though, is while I'm flying, I just wanted to talk with you about why I chose the Air 2S over the Mavic 3. So let's take off and we'll get into that. My first camera drone was a DJI Mini 2 and I love it. But after a few months of flying and doing gigs, I wanted a better camera. And for me, it came down to either the Air 2S or the Mavic 3. My process for making an investment like this is to educate myself before I pull the trigger and make a buying decision. I wanted to understand everything I could about these two drones so I could be comfortable with the final decision. And if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you're wrestling with this same question. I invested time in reading, watching videos, and digging into the capabilities of both these drones. And thanks to the YouTube drone community for all the Air 2S versus Mavic 3 comparison videos, which were really helpful. And before I get into this, I have to say that the Mavic 3 seems to be an amazing drone on paper, but it's also expensive. And I've seen reports of issues such as horizon tilt, transmissions loss, and long GPS satellite acquisition times. Spending $3,000 for the Mavic 3 Fly More combo, $1,700 more than the Air 2S combo really forced me to take a hard look at what I would get for that extra cost. So here are the reasons why I chose the Air 2S over the Mavic 3. And as we go through these, please keep in mind that my drone use cases are aerial photography, videography for social media, marketing and websites, small business video production, construction monitoring, and camera-based inspections. And the Air 2S Fly More Combo is less than half the price of the Mavic 3 Combo. I watched a ton of videos on comparisons of photos and video quality, both day and low light conditions, and I didn't think the quality differences warranted the extra cost for the Mavic 3. Again, this is based on my use case. Both drones shoot 10-bit D-Log video, which is something I wanted, and while the Mavic 3 has a larger sensor, they both shoot 20 megapixel photos, and again, the Air 2S photo quality is more than acceptable for what I need. If you want to see some of the images that I've been shooting, you can check me out on Instagram at C5Drones. The DJI refresh plan for the Air 2S is way less expensive than the Mavic 3. The two-year plan for the Air 2S is $169 versus $399 for the Mavic 3. And as you can see from the chart, the Air 2S replacement fees are much more affordable. This was a factor in my decision as well. There's a lot of Mavic 3 features that I really don't need. While 360 obstacle avoidance would be great to have, I don't anticipate doing a lot of active track shots, so that really wasn't a factor for me. And I also don't really see a need for the extra zoom camera on the Mavic 3. The idea of spotting things in the distance is cool, but it's kind of gimmicky if you ask me. So the Android SDK app for the Air 2S was just released in late December, and the iOS version is planned for the end of March 2022. I would suspect that many third-party mapping apps will have Air 2S support in 2022. I haven't found any indication of the planned date for the Mavic 3 SDK, so the time frame for third-party support is unknown as the date of this video, and this was a factor as well. The Air 2S was released about nine months ago in April of 2021, which means DJI has had nine months to correct issues with firmware updates. Now, I'm sure the Mavic 3 will become more robust with updates, but as of today, I'm still hearing of problems with many saying that it was released too soon. Things like transmission signal loss, horizon tilt, GPS satellite acquisition issues. I think it's safe to say that the Mavic 3 is going through some growing pains as of early 2022. Honestly, I'm not interested in being a test pilot for a new drone. I want to feel comfortable and confident that the drone I'm flying is going to perform as advertised. The Air 2S has been shipping since April 2021, with thousands of flights contributing to the Air 2S software maturity. In my mind, there's much less worry about technical issues causing problems during flights with the Air 2S. Now I think it's important to mention what I gave up by choosing the Air 2S over the Mavic 3. In a nutshell, 8 to 10 minutes more flight time per battery, which I have to admit would be nice to have, 360 degree obstacle avoidance, better zoom quality with the main camera, a bigger sensor which seems to have slightly better daylight image quality, better low light images, and the Hasselblad color profile. Again, for my needs, I didn't think it was worth spending $1,700 more for the Mavic 3 Fly More combo. One day, I may own a Mavic 3, but for right now, the Air 2S is my drone of choice. I'm getting the image quality and features I need in the Air 2S at a much more affordable price, and I feel more confident when flying the Air 2S because of the aircraft's maturity, which is very important to me. 
So those are the reasons why I went with the Air 2S over the Mavic 3. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, so let me know in the comments what you think. Now, if this information was helpful, please hit that like button and please subscribe to C5 Drones for more drone-related content. Thanks for watching, guys, and fly safe.